Well, happy noon, everyone. It's Jason. I'm with my wife, Vonda, and we're out here with the horses today. And we're going to do something kind of neat today for us. We're going to go for a little ride and, and uh, uh, go deliver, do a couple of deliveries, a couple things. And, and um, uh, so I actually put on real clothes today, <laughs> which is a switch. But I uh, wanted to share just a moment with you today. I uh, wanted to begin with a word of scripture. Uh, God himself spoke to Joshua, Joshua who, who took over for Moses when Moses went home to be a citizen of heaven and led the, uh, led the Israelites into the promised land. And I uh, wanted to let Vonda share a word of scripture with you from, from the book of Joshua. So this is Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Don't be afraid and don't be discouraged. That's, that's kind of the lesson. And we hear that over and over again from, uh, from not only just pastors, but from folks who are encouragers. And, and uh, I just wanted to remind us today to be encouragers. I, I wanted to take up just a little bit where I left off the other day uh, it, when I shared about people who are alone and lonely. And there, there are so many. And I, if you are one of those people, I want you to know that, uh, that as, as you are feeling that loneliness and that isolation right now, that you are not alone that God is with you and God is the great encourager and he will not forsake you and he is faithful to his promises and he will always be with you. And if you are a person who is not lonely at this point, uh, I wanna encourage you also to take action, to reach out to those in your life whom you know uh, that may possibly be lonely. And so I just wanna encourage everybody today to reach out to someone Reach out to someone in your life because here's, here's what I found for myself is when, when I take my eyes off of myself and the, the struggles that I'm having and, and do something, take some kind of action to, to help, to help those around me, uh, that it helps me as well. And so I just want to encourage you to do that today. Uh, there are so many folks who are alone and lonely and we uh, who are not alone and lonely uh, are called and asked to to encourage them and help them. So I just want to ask us to do that, and I want to pray today for um, for those folks again, as we prayed the other day. But also, I want to uh, be in prayer for for all of us to, to lift each other in prayer, that we can be courageous and strong and encouraged to help each other. I want you to pray with me. Let's pray. Loving God. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for these birds that are, that are singing the song that you have given them. Thank you for the encouragement of your word and of your faithfulness. You are faithful to your promises, dear Lord, and we thank you for that. And you promise us that as, as you pour out your grace and your love upon us as we open our hearts to you, that you will encourage us to share that love with others. Help us to do that. Give us a boldness of spirit, Lord, that we may be encouraged to share your love with a word of encouragement, reaching out and calling folks around us in our lives and, and just sharing a moment of grace and of love and encouragement with them. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your love, and I thank you for your never-failing mercy and grace and power that you offer us. As we pray now the prayer that Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'd like to ask Vonda to share one more passage of Scripture with us. Uh, Paul, in writing a letter to his church that he began in Corinth, uh, the letter to the Corinthians. This is a, a Scripture that he shared with them that will give us a, a pathway 
uh, a way to do what we're asked to do today. So this is 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 1, verse 3 through 4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. So we're surrounded by, by folks who don't know the love of Jesus Christ. And I just want to encourage you, those of you who do, to reach out and share that love with those as God has called us to do and gives us the strength to do. And if you are in need of encouragement, don't be afraid to reach out. You can uh, personal message either Vonda or I, or, or better yet, reach out to someone who's very, very close to you and, and share your concerns. And know the love of Jesus Christ is with you always. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Have a good day. Love you.